She told the court that Bernardo decided that December 23rd would be the time for the attack. She said it was Bernardo. She's testifying against Paul Bernardo, saying she didn't want to get married to him, that he was beating her daily, and she was living a lie. Young women driving around southern Ontario. If he spotted a girl he liked, Tamalka said, they'd follow her home and watch her undress. Uh, Mocha said that she, Bernardo, and another friend would smuggle cigarettes from the U.S. about five times a week. Paul Bernardo is on trial right now for the sex, tortures, and murders of schoolgirls Kristen French and Leslie Mahaffey. His ex-wife is expected to wrap up her testimony by the middle of this week. Hamolka told the court that Bernardo said it was time to bring home another young girl to be kept as a sex slave. She said he decided that the afternoon of Thursday, April 16th, 1992, would be a good time because he believed there would be a lot of young virgins in the streets. She said that Bernardo had a plan and he made her repeat it over and over. Amoka said that after Bernardo strangled French, he put her body in a fetal position. She said that then she and Bernardo went downstairs. He showered and she blow dried her hair. Bernardo refused the opportunity to speak and after a few minutes was led away by guards. The sentence for first degree murder is automatic, life with no chance of parole for 25 years. He'll be back in court September 15th for sentencing on the remaining seven charges. Bernardo's position was that he did not kill, that Kristen French and Leslie Mahaffey died when they were left alone with Carla Homolka. Despite all that, Bernardo maintained he had always planned to let his captives go. Probably. Why? Homolka was the prosecution's key witness. She cut a deal for a reduced sentence in exchange for her testimony. She said just days after cutting Mahaffey's body into ten pieces, the Homolka sisters, all three of them, enjoying a holiday just weeks before Tammy was raped and killed by Bernardo and her own sister. Look at that body. Killing behavior towards women. Police obtained blood, hair, and saliva samples linking him to the Scarborough rapes. Those specimens weren't actually analyzed for more than two years. Carla Hamaka met Paul Teal early one morning at a Toronto hotel where she was attending a convention. They married in June 1991. My home, thank you, Carla. You but what appeared to be a picture-perfect marriage ended 18 months later. Teal was charged with beating Hamaka okay. with a flashlight. A month later, Teal was arrested and charged with a string of savage rapes in Toronto. While Teal was held in jail on the rape charges, Carla Homolka went into hiding. Three. Bernardo is seen here cheering the runner along the marathon of pulp boxes. There you are, buddy. If a woman appeared able to happily carry on her daily life despite heinous crimes, what would that mean? The other four charges include two counts of aggravated sexual assault and two of first-degree murder. Bernardo has admitted raising both girls, and the rapes were seen on videotape. Under terms of the deal, Homolka was given 10 years for pleading guilty to manslaughter. was given another two years after admitting her role in the sexual assault and death. The deal became more controversial when it was revealed that she's also been given immunity. But despite the feeling that Homolka got off lightly for her role in the abduction and deaths of the girls, some were interviewed Paul Bernardo as a suspect in the notorious Scarborough rape case. Police took blood, hair, and saliva samples from Bernardo. The next day, those samples were submitted for DNA testing at the Center for Forensic Sciences in Toronto. Within a month, Bernardo found himself in another police interview, this time in St. Catharines. Niagara Regional Police were questioning Bernardo about the death of his future sister-in-law, Hamolka. Within weeks, police and the coroner ruled her death accidental, despite, among other things, having no solid explanation for mysterious red burn marks on Tammy's face. In July of 1991, as being registered to Paul Kenneth Bernardo. Bernardo always wanted to hear larger-than-life praises from his victims, Kristen French and Leslie Mahaffey, on those other videotapes we can't show you. 
even as they were forced into degrading sex acts inside, no matter what was really going on in the real world. There was, there was some way... Idiot. It's right there. Get something. Jesus, this is stupid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Paul Bernardo is heard to say that this was the happiest day of his life in an audio tape played to the jury. On the tape, he tells Carla Homolka, Throughout the tape, music is heard in the background. At one point, Bernardo sings along with the Guns N' Roses song, Patience, which was their wedding song. They were stocking their video library. Tape the wedding, tape the rapes, tape Christmas at the in-laws, tape the unconscious sister of the newlyweds. The videotapes alert us to how viciously casual. When asked why she didn't tell anyone, Amoka said she was afraid of him but that she still loved him and hoped he would change. Just two years, Carla Homolka went from being a blushing bride. Bernardo gave her intensified. She said she was beaten almost daily with flashlights, firewood, and his fists. Homolka said she decided to stay. Home by Bernardo and Homolka on April 16, 1992. She told how she hung a written note in her bedroom calling herself stupid and reminding her to think before she speaks. And what we saw was a happy, blissful bride-to-be, just as you say, and that's in direct contrast to what Ro uh, Homolka has testified, that by the time she married Paul Bernardo, she hated him, but felt trapped and that she had no choice. Now, at odds, uh, and another thing, a reason why she calls it the honeymoon from hell is because she says Paul Bernardo beat her for dropping a camera, but when you see the video, there's no sign of bruising on Carla Homolka's body, even though she's uh, wearing rather skimpy clothing. But Homolka explains that by saying that Bernardo punched and kicked her in places that can't be seen. But despite her claims when she was... Whoa! Whoa! Paul Bernardo's lawyer says this Christmas videotape shows no sign of stress or worry in Carla Homolka. plans. Why, when she had several opportunities to warn Tammy to tell someone, she didn't. 